1A version 6 running on Android 14 on my Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and yeah if uh, you are not sure what you see on the screen guys this is here Samsung DeX I'm not sure if there's gonna be some interest in this video but I'm sure that I am interested into checking how DeX operates if you don't know what Samsung DeX is this is well a desktop mode that allows you to connect your phone via a charging cable right of course it needs to be also a data cable to your PC and then just use this DeX mode so Samsung DeX get a powerful desktop experience cast DeX wirelessly or use a cable to connect to a monitor now you, if you want to connect wireless guys you need to have some compatible devices right now I am testing the cable connection and this video is recorded in 60 FPS so that you are able to see what it's like and how it behaves and how it performs now everything you see on the screen guys is everything the way i experienced so i have created some folders here i'm going to start some applications i'm going to also open and close some application check some of the settings and try to determine if dex is usable under one ui 6 which is i have to make this command guys already only at beta one stage so now just to cut through the basics we have here something you can click this is showing you all the applications now have in mind that the applications that are not supported here will not appear so you can try to search for example if let's say you type some name of application it will appear here you pretty much see how it works it really looks like a desktop mode then of course you have also the search screen which is rather ridiculous because it kind of mimics and looks like one-to-one -one with the search screen we have <laughs> on our phone so it's not something uh, that, that is kind of like different but it, okay it's still a good start then we have the next button the next button is the recent menu now you can just see guys I have everything open here right what I'm gonna do for this start i'm gonna click on the close all guys close all right so right now i don't have any open applications then you have another this is like the home button and of course you have also this is the swiping back going back button here you have really like a windows desktop you're able to change um, uh, the language of course you have some keyboard settings you're able to create some screenshots boom now i did a screenshot then you have a very proper volume control so this is how it goes like guys right? because right now this is still not looking great it's it looks really like a one-to-one -one copy from the phone but you can boom clear it right you can clear them all and then guys here you have the Wi-Fi control so also of course you can just see some things playing there go back and show you the media output so you are potentially able to shut it so right now guys you can just see if I'm to play something right I'm going to hear this on my PC I can click here the cogwheel Wi-Fi speaker playback preference so it could be monitoring ca mirroring casting you have really plenty plenty of options then you have here also um, the battery indication and of course here last but not least you have the date and it really looks like a proper desktop so you can potentially just open Chrome and try to navigate something so I just um, try to, to see so all right I'm just trying to type something really uh, in real time so that we are able to just see how these things work and by the way it's opening everything that I have currently in my phone so it's really like just using your phone guys and it's pretty much the experience that you're gonna get now so this is true opening the settings will get you a standard setting look now of course we have the new one i6 aesthetics now here with the bigger profile picture but you're able to access most of your settings we have also the new battery bar with the details uh, one good test would be to go and check security and privacy why because we have something new in one ui 6 and this something new is called the auto blocker i just want to see if that works it works so right now i'm using the auto blocker and we are now back inside the testing so the first app i'm going to start is telegram so boom telegram starts guys and this is how it looks like so here you have the option to make an app transparent if you want you can also try to pin it right so whatever you put it's going to be pinned so no matter what happens guys and you go back on the desktop it's going to be pinned you also have the uh, option to minimize it and of course then the option to maximize it okay so this is telegram and i'm going to put it let's say in this right angle then guys i can open see instagram so let's try to do this okay so really samsung dex is not something that i use quite too often i never had or felt the urge to do so i think it's a cool trick guys i've been using similar things with huawei phones and there is also a solution um in MIUI, very much like this i just want to see how this works uh, honestly 
uh, it's laggy so I, I will be very honest with you it doesn't feel good it feels laggy so if you really need to rely on working on this one it's gonna feel like an old laptop so I want this to be a bit better like everything to be rendered quicker and faster but I guess uh, at this point of time this is really what we have else I'm gonna show you something uh, other so let's say you want to add an application this actually happens quite nice so let's say we want to add Facebook so I'm gonna search first for Facebook okay so let me just do it like this okay and by the way you see guys this is already a notification that I'm getting here um, from my messenger okay it appears here it's, it really feels like a proper desktop now I'm gonna start Facebook okay let's see what is gonna happen guys Okay, it works all right. I mean, I cannot complain. I'm just trying to scroll down a bit. Uh, so, so it's it's okay. It's laggy, uh, but at the end of the day, uh, yeah, I think it was forever like this. I, I just hope that with One UI 6 and with Android 14, they should be able to kind of make it better. But something, guys, that I want to show, which I believe makes sense, Let's open all my reasons up, let's close them, and now let me show something that I believe really has a proper use case, and this is uh, the edit picture. So let's say, guys, I want to edit this picture, right? I can click it, and then go in a full screen mode, and yeah, honestly, with the mouse, this feels very, very intuitive, and you know that Samsung Edit actually has quite some nice tricks inside its sleeve so we can adjust the light balance and if you want to add your pictures like this you know all the effects like the brightness exposure highlight shadow you can do this also of course apply some filters so I do believe that this really has a use case if you want to somehow edit your pictures and I can also try something else guys I recently installed an application to generate some glitch effects it's called the glitch up I want to see what is gonna be like if I am to open here a picture so let me just go and directly open this picture here I should be able to install some of the effects and I'm just gonna try to use some of the ready presets uh, and by the way yeah okay this is what I wanted to check now uh, this works with my finger when I'm doing these edits on my phone and it really works with my mouse the way I'm doing it right now although yeah, it's again it's a bit it's a bit laggy guys all right so don't expect any kind of miracles but you get the point you're able to perform these things these very nice edits and sometimes even get some very artistic things like this one for example uh, why not so Samsung Dex for sure is usable there are also are plenty of things that you can do now let's go and watch some YouTube clips so let me just go here I'm gonna go to my channel I just want to see how it would work it seems that 4k is actually Actually quite nice so this is potentially a use case if you want to hook up your phone to a big monitor and try to look for some videos so we can probably even use it as a player uh, I'm kind of impressed with this so this is definitely a use case scenario that I believe is worth and of course then you can just go back and always try to minimize it and yeah even have this very nice experience from it so here it is in a minimized mode let's open this file it's a pdf that i've used to do some repairs on one of the cars that i have so pdf file is here and you can scroll down you can just see some of the diagrams of course you can also even edit things here you can use different uh, lights and also different effects and also this is definitely a very nice use case scenario so overall I believe that Samsung DeX has a lot of potential but it should be optimized to just perform a bit better and just get rid of the luck then it's going to be really perfect last but not least guys let's just try to run a game try to start temple run I'm gonna also try to go on a full screen which means again a restart um, one more time yeah that's it. this is pretty much it I don't get to get it uh, on a big window downloading config so if you want to play games uh, maybe no no action games uh, it's not gonna be ideal uh, oh okay I just see the animation I want to see how choppy this thing is or not can I play it with um, hmm. no but I can play with my mouse okay it works I can play it with my mouse <laughs> just to try to simulate the taps uh, yeah okay it's not ideal but it's there and so uh, that's it guys so Samsung One UI 6 uh, running on Android 4 in this first beta and this was Samsung Dex if you enjoy videos like this don't forget to sub to the channel guys please stay safe and we're gonna see each other in one of my next videos VST over and bye